All right. It is Tuesday, November 10th, 2020 at 5.51 p.m. All right, guys, let's take a look at these headlines. We have giant meteor fireball explodes in loud boom over Sweden. It says a giant meteor fireball explodes over Sweden on November 7th, 2020. A giant green fireball was captured by space cameras across Sweden at 10.27 p.m. on November 7, 2020. The Norwegian Meteor Network re um, received close to 100 reports of a powerful fireball seen in Norway on Saturday. Videos of the space bolide, much brighter than the full moon, was uploaded on YouTube showing the ball uh, of fire crossing the night sky before falling on the horizon. I'll leave this link uh, in the description so you guys can check out the videos yourselves. Alright, next. Powerful blizzard sets new snow and cold temperature records across Alaska, California, Nevada, and the Canadian prairies. Look at, look at that. That's a lot of snow. Just covering a car and half a building. It says snow accumulation after a powerful weekend blizzard along the US West Coast and Canada. So it, we saw it coming for days but it still was a shock to feel the extreme cold after such a warm fall. Many awoke to a double whammy of record snow then the cold Sunday and Monday across large swaths of the US West Coast from Alaska to California, Nevada and the prairies. So they're experiencing blizzard conditions and snow. All right, next. Uh, an annual northern torrid meteor shower peaks November 11th and 12th. If you see a fireball this weekend, it's probably a piece of comment from 2PENCKE, source of the annual northern torrid meteor shower. Northern torrid meteors are notoriously slow and bright and they fly out an easy to find patch of the sky near the Pleiades. The shower will be active all week as Earth passes through the comet's broad tail of uh, gravely debris. Forecasters expect no more than five torrids per hour after the shower peaks on November 11th and 12th. Look up after midnight for best results. All right, so we got a meteor shower peaking on November 11th and 12th. And finally, Gun stocks fall after vaccine news, lack of election-related civil unrest. So, shares of firearm sellers fell on Monday amid promising news of, of Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine and after election-related unrest failed to materialize, according to a report. So, the election-related unrest failed to materialize and gun stocks just started falling. It says shares of Smith and Western and Sturm Ruger and Co. Inc., the top two U.S. manufacturers, fell more than 9%, while Vista Outdoor Inc., one of the nation's largest ammunition makers, fell over 12%, Reuters reported. So the stocks for firearms is falling because the um, unrest did not materialize. All right, and finally, we got Asteroid Watch. The next five Earth approaches within 4.6 million miles of Earth. On November 10th, we have uh, asteroid 2020 UN3, 150 feet in size, about the size of a jet, passing by the Earth, uh, 207, uh, excuse me, 2 million, uh, 770 thousand miles from Earth. Then November 10th, we got uh, asteroid 2020 UL3, which is 240 feet in size, about the size of a jet. Uh, it will be passing 3,660,000 miles from Earth. Then November 12th, we have asteroid 2020 VC1, which is uh, 89 feet in size, about the size of a jet. Um, it will be passing 1,020,000 miles from Earth. On November 12th, we have 2020 VC, which will be pa uh, 110 feet in size, about the size of a jet passing uh, 3,280,000 miles from Earth. Then November 13, 2020 VL1, we have a meteor about 42 feet in size, about the size of a bus, passing 904,000 miles from Earth. And November 13th, that is the closest uh, meteor or asteroid passing close to Earth. No, it's uh, 2020 VL1. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more news. And see you guys next time. God bless.